Good afternoon and welcome to the 29th and most unique commencement ceremony in honor of the 2020 graduating class of Sioux Falls Roosevelt High School. I'm Tim Hazlett, principal of Roosevelt High School and it is my pleasure to welcome and thank all of you for joining us to celebrate and acknowledge the accomplishments of each student who is graduating today. I would also like to thank the Roosevelt High School Band under the direction of Mr. Mike Hench and Ms. Sarah Amon, the RHS Orchestra under the direction of Mr. Christopher Orland and Mr. Victor Yip, and the RHS Concert Choir under the direction of Mrs. Robin Holcomb, Mr. John Perezo, and Mrs. Bandy, Randy Vandersloot. Thank you for musical contributions to today's ceremony. Today, we're all very aware that this is different. We're usually busy making sure that everyone's dressed appropriately and following the proper protocols. And for one year, the good news is that you can blow as many air horns as you want during this celebration. I need to thank Ben Schumacher, Deanne Conrad, Carly Uthi, Chelsea Minders, Brittany Heyman, and all of those who worked tirelessly to put this virtual version of graduation together. For you, we know it's not the same as face to face, and we hope to have that as well. But the amount of time and effort put into this is for you, the graduating class of 2020. At this time, I would like to introduce the superintendent of the Sioux Falls School District, Dr. Brian Maher. Hello, seniors in the class of 2020. It's truly an honor to talk to you as you conclude your high school careers. What a ride you have endured, you've overcome, and you've embraced. You're leaving high school at a curious time in our nation's history, a time of uncertainty and a time of opportunity. I continue are leaving high school at a great time and success will follow you. At his second inaugural address to Congress, Abraham Lincoln stated, the dogmas of the quiet past are inadequate to the stormy present. The occasion is piled high with difficulty and we must rise with the occasion. As our case is new, we must think anew and act anew. Now, it seems to me as though those words were written for this time in our current reality. But this is your time to address the stormy present. Use your skills. Use the perseverance you have developed and adapt as you have shown you can in your short lives. This is your future. You will determine the new dogmas required for success. You've already proven you are resilient. You've already proven you can persevere. You have already proven you can adapt and adjust. You're on a great path to achieve and succeed. Congratulations on what you have already accomplished and best of luck as you conquer new worlds. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the Sioux Falls School District Board of Education, Mrs. Cynthia Mickelson. Congratulations to the Roosevelt High School class of 2020. Good afternoon, graduates. My name is Cynthia Mickelson, and it is an honor to serve as president of the Board of Education for the Sioux Falls School District. I appreciate your understanding as I speak to you virtually instead of physically handing you your diplomas. I feel privileged to work for this district, and some days this job is easier than others. The boundaries discussion and the resignation of Dr. Maher have been hard, but the hardest day was the day we knew school would be closed through the remaining part of the year. Our greatest strength is our people in making connections, so how could we do this, not being able to meet in person? The answer became very clear as your amazing teachers and the entire staff at Sioux Falls School District rose to the challenge and continued to provide resources to our students. As I sat down to write this speech, there were many thoughts that came to mind, however, I want to focus on how proud we as a district are of your accomplishments during this unprecedented time. Your tenacity and grit will help you in life as much as learning about Algebra 2. Many years ago I played point guard in basketball and you learn early on that you never pick up your dribble unless you know where you are going to pass the ball or take the shot. And when COVID-19 hit, we were faced with a giant defender that we could not see around. So we had to plant that pivot foot and look for other solutions. Your agility to change course, partner with a positive attitude will carry you far and allow you to be responsive and nimble, not reactive. 
I'd like to encourage you to focus on what you can control or influence, mainly your emotions. Sometimes we have to realize the only way through a situation is to wait and be patient until the storm passes. The Sioux Falls School District has given you a great educational foundation, but we are most excited to see what you accomplish after you leave our schools. Our hope is that we have provided you with the diversity of thought and experiences throughout your time with us, but that you also understand and have empathy for your neighbor whose experience may have not has been as positive as yours. The ability to empathize and understand other perspectives will allow you to always work through differences. So if you have heard nothing else from me today, please remember to put yourself in someone else's situation and work towards resolution, not confrontation. In closing, I would like to ask you to continue to be a student, and I do not mean to stay in school forever. I mean to continue to challenge yourself, educate yourself, listen to others, be open to new experiences and other opinions, keep learning, engage, listen, continue to improve yourself, and show up. And never, ever settle for less than you deserve, because you are worth it. Congratulations, the class of 2020. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the senior class president, Courtney Monger, who will introduce our first student speaker. Courtney. Hi everyone, my name is Courtney Mongar and I am your 2020 senior class president. What a crazy end to our high school years. I never thought we would be having a virtual graduation. When they first announced we would be finishing school online, I didn't think it would work. However, despite the inconvenience of switching to online school, we rose to the challenge and finished the race, and I am so proud of all of you. The reason I'm on your screens today is to introduce our two graduation speakers. I'm proud to say both of these speakers are personal friends of mine, and I'm sure you will love them and what they have to say. Our first speaker is involved in Student Council, Future Teachers Club, and RHS Track and Field. She is known as a walking ball of sunshine by her leadership class and always has a smile on her face. Please help me welcome our first speaker, Janae Krause, with her speech entitled, The Socially Distant Class of 2020. Class of 2020, the ones who are ahead in life, hear me out. Hello, Roosevelt Seniors. My name is Janae Krause. You may not know me, but we went to high school together. We have been in school for 13 years. I don't know about you, but that's probably the longest relationship I've ever had. As you look on from your left and your right, your left and your right, we are all still here together. As Charles Dickens put it, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And now it is 2020. I know what you're thinking. The class of 2020 would have never seen this coming. Our class went back to the basics. And maybe that's what we needed when heading into the big world of the unknown. And that's what makes this so crazy. We don't know what's to come, but this has made me realize a few things. This pandemic has made us have more empathy, enjoy family and friend connections, be inspired by more creative activities like TikTok dances or read that book since I know you haven't read since the third grade. And being able to express yourself through your love of paint, journaling, or going for a run. We learn to enjoy the little things. Let's go down memory lane, shall we? Here we are freshman year, the very first time. How are you feeling? Nervous, excited? I remember the very first homecoming, upperclassmen telling you that if you don't dress up, you will stand out. And they were not kidding. Homecoming was always fun, and I'm so glad we got to experience four years of laughter and dancing. Let's jump to sophomore year, feeling a little more confident, a solid amount of grit, and maybe still a little nervous. Anyone remember when Dome was home? That was so exciting. There were smiles, laughter, and tears, and lots and lots of cheering. But we were all together, experiencing something so amazing at the same time. Junior year comes. What are you feeling? Maybe scared or overwhelmed? Maybe super excited because you're almost gonna run the school? Junior year is when it began to be real and you are figuring, figuring out what you wanna do, where you wanna go, and how you wanna be remembered. You are starting to become a young adult and start life all on your own. I want all of you to blink. It is senior year. Are you sad, excited, happy, overwhelmed, grateful, or maybe all of the above? This is the first time ever that this has happened, but we have really made the most of it. We had social distance proms, social distance dances, social distance bike rides, and lastly, having a senior prank at the Rosie parking lot where we got to see each other once again. And now here we are, graduating from this place I honestly would call my second home. I was always here. Well, I used to be until Miss Rona told everyone to stay home. 
I have made so many connections and relationships with my fellow Rockstar of a class, the teachers and coaches who have taught me so much through these years. Our senior class was cut short, but I will carry everything I learned with me. The only thing you can take from high school is your education and your memories, and what you do with those is up to you. I always remember being told, leave your legacy. Legacy isn't what you leave for the people, but in the people. Fellow good-looking classmates, we have left the people with kindness and inclusion. I will cherish the times I had in high school. I will remember saying hi to this person in the hallway just to put a smile on their face. I will remember getting pushed into the lockers because I'm five foot tall and there are a bajillion people in Roosevelt High School. I know that you all have bright futures ahead of you and I'm excited to hear about all the stories and jokes you have at our reunion. This isn't the end, it's only the beginning. We are now passing the baton to our future self. We are passing to our future self. We are pitching to our future self. We are bowling to our future self. We are going to debate with our future self. We are going to serve to our future self. We are going to swing to our future self. But through it all, trust the process. Good luck even though I know you won't need it. We are Roosevelt, we are one and done. Thank you. Thank you, Janae. That was amazing. Our next speaker is involved in show, choir, orchestra, and debate. He loves performing and competing in all three of these activities and is thankful for the amazing people he gets to work with in each. Please give a virtual round of applause to our second speaker, Anders Svenningsen, with his speech entitled 95%. What would you tell your freshman self looking back on high school? Cliched and worn out, this familiar question has been asked for years by counselors, teachers, and incoming freshmen in order to see what the high school experience could really be about. The typical answer includes something like, get involved, enjoy the fun classes, don't sweat the small stuff. Familiar and logical, the answers serve as an indicator for how to spend your time at high school. And up until the very end of this year, I imagine that many of our answers would have been the same. Classes before us had the luxury of answering this from a question, question from a standpoint of completion and closure. We expected that same ending, being able to turn a page and gain momentum forward after high school. Now our lives have changed. Hallways haven't been filled with students for almost two months. As radical of a shift that may seem, if these past few years have taught me anything, it's definitely math. So I took the liberty of finding out just how much time COVID has taken from us. Mrs. Nelson, you know my math skills, so I'll try to keep this concise and hopefully accurate. If each of our three school years leading up to this were 10 months long and we attended Roosevelt for th three years, that's about 30 months of school time. Out of what we've had as seniors and it comes to approximately 37 months. Two divided by 37 is 0 0.05 or 5%. We had the full high school experience for nearly 95% of the four years. Imagine eating 95% of a sandwich. All that would be left is a crust and no one just wants the crust. We've had so many amazing opportunities over the past three years alone. The class of 2020 is unmatched even if you didn't count a fourth. The 95% of our high school career included dominating competitions, show-stopping performances, acing tests, sweeping tournaments, and winning all kinds of championships. Personal goals were met, licenses earned, grades achieved, and life experience absolutely crushed. We've had the opportunity to exercise our rights as citizens in protest, gathering, free speech, and petition. We've practiced empathy, kindness, compassion, and acceptance for those who need it most. We've been able to support our classmates, lending a hand during some of the darkest times in our lives. And when we failed, we never stopped trying. For the past 95%, we've worked so hard to make the most of the amazing opportunities we've been given. So that leaves us with the 5% the rest of our time in high school. If that 5% is actually the crust, then it would appear to be the most valuable crust of our whole lives up to this point. That 5% is so ingrained in Americana that entire movies have tried to encapsulate what it feels like to experience the end of high school. Not a single senior would tell you they would be all right skipping out on what those movies portray. They're expecting to finish what they started. Just like them, we started something four years ago. Something special happened when we passed through those doors on our first day in high school. We were greeted with the philosophy of becoming something bigger than ourselves. We all know the slogan, we are Roosevelt, we are one. And this was the idea, something to guide us as we headed towards the finish line. But the truth is, we aren't finishing this May. We aren't finishing in June, July, or even in August. We aren't finished next year or the year after that. We won't finish what we started here because what we started is bigger than high school. 
we carved a path of excellence that is going to carry us far beyond the familiar red brick walls of Roosevelt, outside the city limits of Sioux Falls, to places we haven't even been yet. Perhaps among our peers are the caring nurses providing for the sick. Some could be kind entrepreneurs gracious to lend a hand to those who need assistance. Maybe others are scientists who study on the front lines to find a cure for what is keeping us in our homes. Or they might be compassionate politicians who use their office to better our country as a whole. As a multitude of bright futures beckon, the tools and wisdom given to us at Roosevelt will continue to guide us as we are molded by our experiences. The growth we've achieved has been immense. So why would something like this stop us? The truth is we will continue to shine. We can go through whatever it takes to reach our goals because we've been doing it for four years. During our 95%, we've grown into amazing human beings and will continue to grow as we travel past our time at Roosevelt. So the question remains, what would you tell yourself looking back on high school? Our answers as a class may never be the same. We get to look back through a lens of lost time, hoping for more closure. But if I had the chance to speak to myself as a freshman, after all this, I know what I would say. Change is inevitable, but growth is intentional. Be prepared to grow alongside the most amazing group of humans you'll ever have a chance to meet. And at the end, just remember that you never lost all the wonderful people that made your 95% so special. Thank you, class of 2020.
Congratulations, class of 2020. To begin the year, I knew that I would probably use the unique number 2020 as a portion of my address to you today, but I would never have guessed that it would mean so much more due to the circumstances. We find ourselves in a situation in 2020 that's unique. 2020 was already a unique set of numbers that carried meaning. 2020 vision is a term used to express normal visual activity. The clarity or sharpness of vision, measured at a distance of 20 feet. If you have 20-20 vision, you can see what should normally be seen at that distance. I probably would have used that to tell you that you have a clear vision for your future and that you're well prepared. That would have been in a normal year. For all of us, 2020 has been anything but normal, and it's been a challenge. Overall, there's another term that applies today, and that's the fact that hindsight's 2020. That means that things are easier to understand after they already happened, and we possibly could have made better decisions or appreciated people and events more if we had only known. I think we've all had some of those thoughts this year. Although there's no doubt that the situation has caused you to miss many things that you were looking forward to, and that's not fair. I believe it may be possible that we will continue to grow and learn from what we've experienced together this year, and it'll make us stronger, smarter, more appreciative, and aware. If that's the case, then this year, the unprecedented circumstances we faced and your ability to persevere as a class of 2020 will have taught us all not to depend on 2020 hindsight, to appreciate the people and events that mean so much to us all. Maybe the experiences you have had as a class of 2020 will be all the hindsight you need to remember these things every day. You didn't get here alone, and you will not have to go forward alone. You've contributed greatly to the RHS community, and you have the support of all of us in this community, your family, friends, faculty, and staff at RHS, will always support you. Your class has been exceptional in many ways and shown tremendous acceptance and care for all people in our school, and your ability to adapt to an entirely new way of education has been remarkable. Thank you for all you have done during the fourth quarter and for all of your years at Roosevelt High School. You've lived out our motto, we are Roosevelt, we are one. In a moment, I'm gonna list some of the incredible accomplishments that you have achieved as a class and as individuals. While these things, or these are things that people have achieved while in high school, the truth of the matter is you all stand on equal that ground today as high school graduates. What you choose to do from this point is up to you, but always remember that the people supporting you will be there for you along the way. You are ready, good luck. Here are just a few of the incredible accomplishments of the class of 2020. Among the members of this class, there are 589 of you ready to graduate today, 153 Regent Scholars, 135 Presidential Scholars, two National Merit Finalists, 86 AP Achievement Award winners, 23 AP Scholars, 23 AP Scholars with Honors, 11 AP Scholars with Distinction, one AP National Scholar, 60 National Honor Society members, 22 seniors earned a 4.0 for all four years, two team state titles, one state boys golf medalist, one state individual wrestling champion, several all-city, all-conference, and all-state athletes, 20 all-state choir members. Concert choir was recognized nationally and honored to perform to present in, on inclusivity by sharing our vision of RHS. Five all-state band members, two all-state jazz band members, marching band finished third at the U.S. <laughs> National Band Championships. Eight all-state orchestra members, the debaters have an unprecedented nine bids for the National Debate Tournament of Champions, six academic All-Americans in debate, one national orient, oral and terp qualifier, 12 gold key and 30 silver key award winners in visual arts, one national silver visual art winner. Those are both prestigious art awards. There are num numerous hours of community service, thousands of dollars of fundraising that you've done for the community, not to mention, you are now the all-time undisputed Senior Skip Day champions. Today, most importantly, all of you have become high school graduates. We are all very proud of all of you and your accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pride that I present to you the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are happy and honored to announce your names for graduation purposes. Abigail Ackerman, 
Cade Adams, Parker Adamski, Eduardo Aguirre Hernandez, Mubark Ahmed, Jackson Albertson, Rhett Alley, Adamari Almaguer, James Alvarez, Nancy Alvarez Lopez, Alexa Anderson, Nicholas Anderson, Seth Araby, Clarissa Arbayu, Charles Arceo, Irvin Avadano, Caleb Baker, Leah Bannock, Giancarlo Barillas, Jason Barillas, Cole Bartels, Noah Barcher, Haveen Bawari, Daniel Batterman, Emma Bauer, Paisley Beach, Ashley Beckwith, Alyssa Beasley, Devon Beltman, Josie Bender, Hunter Benneke, Zoe Berg, John Berghorst, Nicholas Bergseth, Jacob Bierke, Jordan Berkey, Mackenzie Beavers, Jaden Beznaska, Blake Beerwagon, Mackenzie Bingen, Demetrius Bissell, Alice Bjornberg, Justice Blaylock, Lily Bleckinger, Jenna Blog, Lila Blue, Briley Bonet, Giovanni Bjorquez Arguello, Abol Bull, Corian Bulwark, Emma Bolte, Austin Bombeck, Jordan Borges, Braden Borns, Tennyson Boyer, Morgan Brandis, Chase Brander, John Bronsrider, Cheyenne Brave, Jaden Breen, Devin Breinholt, Emma Briney, Hayden Brocher, Haley Brown, Emily Buckley, Maxwell Beeler, Sage Bullock, Maddie Bolchi, Mackenzie Bolchi, Deja Burnett McGovern, Cassidy Burrell, Caden Burry, Riley Carlson, Kiara Casillas Carrillo, Kimberly Casillo Carrillo, Draw Hate Chen, Aiden Christensen, Harley Christensen, Anastasia Clancy, Darian Clapper, Bryslin Klaus, Zachary Coloca, Christian Condi, Ryan Conroy, 
Janet Constantino, Michelle Cooper, Kezia Cordell, Matthew Cordell, Sydney Cork, Emilio Coronado Garcia, Astrid Cortez Argueta, Andrew Cotton, Cameron Crawford, Mason Creighton, Emma Curtelli, Samuel Crossley, Xavier Cuellar, Courtney Courier, Caleb Daigle, Callum Dahl, Brady Dannenbring, Jacqueline DePaz Obregon, Nathaniel DeBoer, Marcus Decker, Emma DeHoog Cleaver, Faven DeGene, Allison DeShepper, Damian DeWitt, Aubrey Dykus, Kara Dirks, Noah Dixon, Ryan Dorr, Carter Domagolski, Olivia Donlinger, April Donis Carrera, Mason Doris, John Paul Doty, Corey Dowling, Caitlin Drilling, Gabriel Drury, Abigail Dewan, Brianna Dula, Sydney Duncan, Riley Duval, Caleb Dwyer, Dominic Eager, Trinity Edberg, Alyssa Eichmann, Nema El Wakil, Tiffany Emery, Alexandra Ersink, Jackson Erickson, Jared Erickson, Michaela Erickson, Reese Evans, Kaylin Evenson, McKenna Ewalt, Dylan Fandel, Caden Fandel, Alexander Farley, Robert Fayok, DeAndre Felcher, Hannah Fenickel, Kaylee Fireisen, Jenna Fickbaum, Mason Fickbaum, Carolyn Figueroa, Chloe Fincher, Grace Firecloud, Harrison Fisher, Jason Fisher, Justice Fitzgerald, Lily Flaw, Audrey Flaccus Mahoney, Clarissa Flores, Jaden Foss, Austin Fowler, Caleb Fowler, Rossi Francisco Morrell, Lizette Franco Martinez, Peyton Fredericks, Kevin Galicia Hernandez, Jade Gallus, Ashley Gannon, Colton Gannon, Jin Hong Go, Joel Garcia, Kimberly Garcia Perez, Madison Gerhardt, Randy Gerlock, 
Jade Gertz, Christian Giannini, Hattie Giblin, Madison Giff, Avery Gillis, Jessica Giron, Keegan Glover, Benjamin Golden, Karen Gomez, Hyria Gura, Kiara Green, Jasmine Greer, Heidi Griebel, Matthew Griescrabber, Hope Grismer, Caitlin Grovenberg, Alexandra Gukhuizen, Annalisha Gullickson, Mangal Garung, Emily Gutierrez, Natalie Gutierrez Ayala, Daniel Haas, Philemon Haptamerium, Haley Hackney, Dexter Hayek, Tanisha Half, Andrew Helverson, Carissa Hanish, Madeline Hansen, Maya Hansen, Colin Hansen, Emma Hansen, George Herringer, Keaton Hartman, Reese Hartman, Griffin Hausman, Nokia Haynes, Mackenzie Hazelwood, Michael Hefner, Annika Hemingway, Tayton Henry, Nayali Hernandez, Catherine Herrick, Emily Hillbrands, Ian Hill, Owen Hirsch, Tabitha Hirschman, Taylor Hofer, Taylor Hoffmeyer, Jade Hopkins, Mesha Horsa, Madison Howard, Ethan Howell, Stephanie Hubbard, Michaela Hudson, Jordan Humpel, Sydney Huntimer, Braden Husby, Ahmed Hussein, Thu Huwen, Elizabeth Hybertson, Aliyah Emmaker, Brandon Ironcloud, Daniel Isev, Henry Islas, Olivia Jacobson, Jalen Janice, Asia Jarwang, Auden Jensen, Kira Jensen, Parker Jensen, Kaylee Jessen, Austin Johns, Abigail Johnson, Allison Johnson, Caleb Johnson, Carissa Johnson, Carly Johnson, Emma Johnson, Ivy Johnson, Lily Johnson, Nolan Johnson, Rachel Johnson, Robert Johnson, Taylor Johnson, Wyatt Johnson, Caden Jordan, Tyler Jorgensen, Alexia Joseph, Sonny Josephson, Henry Juarez Ardon, 
Cynthia Huyar Puentes. Juan Huyar Puentes. Eli Kadun. Seth Caney. Joseph Kelly. Brooke Kelleher. Madison Kennelly. Karsten Kern. Larissa Kizar. Emily Kilstrom. Dominique Kissel. Blade Klebby. Madeline Klein. Carolina Klutman Fuller. Isaac Knock. Kinley Knutson. Becky Kepke. Benjamin Coles. Abraham Convalin. Kira Kube. Tatum Coima. Skylar Kotman. Andrew Kovalenko. Naomi Ko. Cassandra Cron. Janae Kraus. Josiah Kretchy. Dade Kruger. Jackson Kroger. Haley Cruid. Emily Cool. Landon Cooley. Aaron Kusler. Adam Kusler. Jessica Lavalley. Ricky Lally. Caitlin Lamont. Brogan Landine. Drew Larson. Maxwell Larson. Rebecca Lavery. Elijah Lavin. Mackenzie Leach. Thomas Leffring. Ashton Limebeck. Hannah Leonard. Sierra Lepley. Zachary Link. Noah Lloyd. Janessa Lowe. Andrew Longendike. Ryan Lounsbury. Edvin Lukovica. Avery Lund. Cicely Lund. Jack Lundeen. Eric Long. Jessica Lindsay. Esperanza Mace. Eric Magania Zavala. Braden Malwitz. Dominic Marshall. Titan Martin. Nathan Martinez. Syra Martinez Antunez. Thomas Massily. Brody McCarty. Savannah McGraw. Daniel McLaughlin. Aaron Meissner. Machias Macbeb. Rena Melendez Vienna. Mackenzie Melstead. Eric Mickelson. Leitu Medexa. Bailey Miles. Alexis Miller. Dawson Miller. Devin Miller. Logan Miller. Max Miller. 
Seth Miller, Jesus Miranda, Ryan Mix, Caleb Moe, Catherine Moe, Clarissa Moffitt, Courtney Mongar, Kevin Manjaras, Nathan Moon, Peter Moriarty, Aliyah Mota, Amir Muhammad, Jasper Muhindo, Keanu Munoz, Monica Munoz Cuestas, Braden Murphy, Hayden Murtha, Nafisa Musa, Abel Musa, Marissa Nagel, Viola Nagorniak, Mason Natoli, Alan Navarro, Brendan Naylor, Avishek Neopani, Grace Negabauer, Jose Navarez, Aiden Wynn, Alicia Wynn, Austin Nikifor, Noah Nielsen, Macy Nielsen, Juan Niato Perdomo, Sierra Noble, Cade Nofziger, Kobe Noor, Jaden Nordhagen, Mackenzie Noka, Mayra Nuno, Rebecca Odland, Indio Olson, Carter Oltmans, Adam Amit, Anthony Anisoru, Isabella Anisoru, Ramiro Ordonez, Brian Orozco Sanchez, Steve Ortega, Skyler Orth, Peyton Ortman, Mariah Osterman, Joseph Ostermeyer, Andrew Overvig, Taylor Owens, Ali Palugi, Morgan Pansich, Emma Pankratz, Damian Paradise, Jace Parkhill, Darian Parkhurst, Hemish Permar, Evan Patswald, Ethan Paul, Caleb Paulson, Trinity Perez, Yamelis Perez Roman, Jennifer Perez Velasquez, Joseph Pete, Allison Peters, Kylie Peters, Hannah Peterson, Blake Paff, Huey Pham, Lucas Phillips, Tyler Promeny, Gianni Fung, Kaylee Pint, Peyton Plagman, Caitlin 
Privet, Lauren Prochnick, Karina Provost, Emily Pulling, Natalie Regals, Ashish Rai, Andy Ramirez Mendez, Deandrea Ratliff, Thomas Radetsky, Daniel Reeves, Zachary Wrench, Gracie Render, Major Ridgeway, Autumn Ritter, Haley Roberts, Morgan Roberts, Braden Robinson, Audrey Robles, Brennan Roblowski, Michaeli Rodriguez, Anna Rodriguez Garcia, Francis Rogers, Jada Rogers, Caleb Roggenbuck, Maya Roggenbuck, William Rolf, Sierra Roth, Danielle Roseboom, Kaylee Ruddy, Alexis Rungi, Darren Rupp, Connor Rezavi, Caitlin Reiswijk, Hamzia Sado, Ayarankunda Safira, Raina J. Samo, Jennifer Sanchez Patino, Camden Sandhurst, Lisa Satry, Alexander Shar, Michaela Schaefer, Sydney Schaefer, Trevor Schlechter, Joshua Schluter, Josephine Schmidt, Ashley Schnetzer, Grace Schofield, Abigail Schroeder, Callie Schuld, Taylor Schultz, Ava Shoring, Chloe Switzer, Jocelyn Sesher, Nevea Seda, Malia Sapala, Jade Severson Wesley, Sierra Shanks, Lillian Sherry, Erica Shea, Victoria Shevchenko, Avantika Sham, Alexis Sigman, Dylan Sievert, Jacob Silver, Maya Simmons, Comfort Sirleaf, Brianna Sistanich, Evan Shivold, Dawson Scramstead, Swad Smilovich, Alexandra Smith, Catherine Smith, Carlos Soltero Soto, Josephine Somervold, Vanessa Sowell, Isaiah Spurley, Alexandria Spielman, Sawyer Spear, Taylor St. John, Michael Stake, Shelby Stanford, Tristan Stelling, Deacon Stoll, Lane Stone, Cassie Strabel, Brina Stern, Nicholas Suarez, Anil Suba, Shiley Summers, 
Christopher Sumo, Anders Svenningsen, Emma Swenson, Annalise Tabert, Alyssa Tagto, Nathaniel Tekaline, Alana Thielen, Hunter Thieleman, Garrett Thompson, Jacob Thoreen, Kate Thorstenson, Destiny Thunder, Winifred Tido, Tyler Tillman, Allison Tolo, Eliana Tuli, Vanessa Torres, Mary Tran, Brandon Cheddar, Joseph Cheddar, Bryce Chudy, Riley Tufts, Shayla Tushin, Matthew Utek, Charles Vandevort, Casey Vandenover, Cameron Van Kalsbeek, Caitlin Van Vorst, Riley Vanderlei, Grace Vandywater, Jalen Vasquez, Alexis Velarde Ojeda, Isaac Verstag, Claudia Veramasil, Sean Vermas, Jaden Vianis, Trey Voler, Ava Volk, Matthew Wagonar, Rose Waugh, Jordan Waltman, Anna Watkins, Elsa Watkins, Jayon Webb, Jesse Weber, Madison Webster, Jade Weedman, Jonah Weems, Zachary Weir, Sailor Wyland, Jacob Weiser, Alex Welbig, Jacob Welbig, Alyssa Welding, David Wells, Dakota White, Tyler Wills, Chase Wilson, Tatum Wilson, Zane Wilson, Miriam Wassall, Alexis Wise, Autumn Woolwind, Caitlin Wolf, Adam Wolf, Faith Woolman, Matthew Woodward, Jonah Warden, Caleb Washi, Jaden Wright, Tucker Wolf, Ernestine Yancey, Lily Yang, Alexander Yates, Tessa Emker, Abby Yope, Eric Zatino Lopez. Graduates, wherever you are, please stand. I now want to present to you the graduated class of 2020. Throw them in the air.
somebody would have told me, babe Someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at Still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be so Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out And falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Never thought we'd get old Maybe we're, we're still young Maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments, maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future, thinking about the past While missing out on now, we've come so far I guess I'm proud And I ain't worried about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars, I've been around I felt some pain, I've seen some things, but I'm here now Those good old things you don't know what you got till it goes, till it's gone. You don't know what you got till it goes, till it's gone. The 2019-2020 school year began like many others, normally. School began Thursday, August 22nd. As the fall semester began, homecoming, concerts, fall sports, and other activities went on as normal. After the holiday break, the second semester began normally too. But by mid-March, things would look very different. During the course of the school year, at the district level, Superintendent Dr. Brian Maher announced his resignation from the Sioux Falls School District, and the school board named Dr. Jane Stavum as his replacement, who would take over on July 1, 2020. Over the course of several meetings, a community task force had taken up the tough job of redrawing school boundary lines to accommodate a growing district, while the new schools, Thomas Jefferson High School and Ben Rifle Middle School, began to take shape in preparation of their opening during the fall of 2021. The first known linked cases of COVID-19 
then referred to simply as the coronavirus, began to appear in China on December 31, 2019. The first known case in the United States was reported on January 19, 2020. By January 30th, the World Health Organization would declare a global health emergency. As the virus rapidly spread across the globe, notably in cruise ships and among travelers who didn't know they had the disease, countries outside of China began regional or nationwide lockdowns by mid to late February. On March 10th, South Dakota had its first confirmed case of COVID-19. On March 12th, the Sioux Falls School District suspended all non-essential activities until further notice, which happened to include a community engagement meeting scheduled to take place that night at Memorial Middle School about the boundary issue. This included concerts, plays, sports events, community education classes, and much more. On March 13th, President Trump declared a national emergency. And also on that day, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem recommended that all South Dakota schools close for the following week. District officials sent out information to families about the closure. Spring break was scheduled for Thursday and Friday, March 19th and 20th. So for the time being, the remaining three days, Monday through Wednesday, March 16th through 18th, were going to be treated as snow days. However, by the end of the day on March 13th, in preparation for a potential longer term closure, most students were sent home with their Chromebooks, or they were able to obtain them in the following days. Within a few days, schools across the state were closed for an additional week, and activities like the state basketball tournament were pushed back until April. Then, on March 24th, Governor Noem announced schools would be closed until May. On April 6th, she announced schools would be closed for the remainder of the school year, and all activities were canceled. As a Sioux Falls school district adapted to remote learning, so did students and their parents. Students without internet connection or devices at home were provided hard copy packets, which could be picked up at schools or were delivered by school buses. School breakfasts and lunches were provided at sites across Sioux Falls and distributed via bus routes throughout neighborhoods. Educators and students reached each other through online formats like Zoom meetings, Google Hangouts, and Skype while teachers also used YouTube, Google Drive, Loom, and other methods to post videos or discussions online. Throughout daily briefings from state and local leaders, as the number of cases grew in South Dakota and Sioux Falls, the guidelines continued to fluctuate. Groups of 10 or more were discouraged. Many local businesses, like those across the world, closed their doors. By mid-April, it was recommended that people wear masks and gloves in public places to prevent the asymptomatic spread of the disease. Parks and playgrounds were closed. Basketball hoops were taken down. Summer sports seasons were pushed back. Summer camps across the state closed for the year. Economic hardships took hold for many. And the term social distancing was adopted into daily speech. There was a yeast shortage, but that was after people had already begun hoarding toilet paper. Many words have been used to describe this time in email messages, ads on TV and social media, and even in our own conversations. Unprecedented, uncertain, new normal. But for you, the Roosevelt High School class of 2020, there was nothing normal about your senior year. The culmination of many years of hard work was never seen. Events you'd look forward to, maybe for years, didn't happen. The final days in your high school hallways took place long before we realized they would be your last. We can't meet in person right now to celebrate your achievements, but we're still proud to celebrate them. This isn't the graduation you and your families likely hoped for, and certainly not the one you deserved, but we're proud to honor you today with this virtual ceremony.